in order to accommodate the wall box in the existing overdrive unit we have to modify the power supply we need to replace R1 which is a 2.2 K resistor it's in a circuit with C1 and C2 in order to reduce ripple and clean up the power to, uh, supply to the plate and we want to reduce the ripple just a little bit more to do that we want to replace it with a choke a 20 Henry 20 milliamp 1.6 ohm choke the resistance is about the same but putting an inductor there in combination C1 C2 will further smooth out the supply voltage to the plate the regenerative circuit with the inductor and variable capacitor any ripple here at all will be noticeably higher so we need to smooth this out first in the original circuit you'll notice now there are four triangles one is located near C8 top right of the picture shown here labeled 1 the next one is the bottom of R8 labeled 3 you'll see a triangle labeled 2 it's downstream of R10 that's actually the signal supplying to or back from the LC circuit triangle 4 on jack 2 on the very right hand side is connected to ground because the unit will require having a shielded enclosure which is also tied back to the original overdrive unit the next part let's go through a little bit of a safety review here while it looks like a harmless transformer L1 60 Henry 8 milliamps and the really cool looking plate variable plate capacitor C10 when they're in parallel it's somewhat okay to touch the unit even after voltage is applied I wouldn't do that but the worst thing to do is to hook them in series and have any voltage applied to it because that combination of L1 and C10 in series with so much as a volt of one volt DC applied across it could actually multiply that thing into hundreds of volts not to be played with the best thing to do is to ground across the terminals of the of C10 so that until it's actually installed in a unit it doesn't build charge this capacitor will put out a lot of voltage so to connect this thing up there's three lugs either side of the, of the capacitor you only need one side and all three of them have to be soldered together wired and soldered together that's one side of the capacitor the other side you'll notice when you buy the unit has a lug on the frame that's the other side of the capacitor now then the enclosure as you see here as I've shown you in the construction photograph in a different video that is that has to go to ground you need to shield this so then uh, there's R14 R14 is 290 K is a good value to start with you want to adjust it up or down in value in order that when you're toggling in the switch to add the wall box in that the voltage is about the same as when it is switched out it sounds better that way but you may have to tweak that value just a tad bit and it is in parallel with R8 when building this unit I would connect L1C10 in parallel very first thing and then I would put a grounding strap around between the frame and the lugs which are soldered together I would complete the build of the project and then the final step would be to then to have uh, pin one go to your jack well, I used a four pin mic jack to connect this box to the original unit and then connect up three and two to that jack four of course is a shield and when you get that in then should be okay so the unit when you're switching it in sounds a little bit loud again you go back to R14 and 
adjust that uh, probably a little bit. It should be close. It's just adjust it to where the volume's the same. You may have to go up in value or down in value depending on whether or not the volume's too high or too low. Now then, this is my wall box. I play a blues harmonica. I don't use a pedal. Typically I select the key I'm playing in, decide if I want to go more metal or do I want to go more blues or somewhere in between. As you adjust it to the right, the capacitor comes out of the circuit and tends to clean up. And as you adjust it uh, counterclockwise or to the left, it tends to be more mellow. You can drag it down to where it sounds more metal. Somewhere in between, a little bit more blues. I tend to select the key, make my adjustment, and I go on. I don't actually use the wall box with a blues harmonica and do a wall with it. It's the same circuit. The nice thing about this design is the variable capacitor will never go scratchy on you. So if you want to do this for a guitar, just, uh, just modify design a little bit and put a, a pedal to the uh, adjustment knob there and you'll be just fine. But if you're a blues harmonica player, this is it. It sounds cool. So in the next video, I'll give you a sound bite as to what that sounds like. Thank you.